Yes, so like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think you just pants. put them on. I forgot how they work. You, you belt, you can cinch them, you can belt yeah, them. That's and then the you, logical conclusion. And then you hem them if you're me because I have the legs of a child. <laughs> me too. We have a similar. Tonight on a very special episode of Legs of a Child. <laughs> Are we rolling? Hey, welcome to 10 Minute Talk Show. The talk show is 10 minutes and 10 minutes. Uh, it's May 1st. We're, we're in the big. <laughs> it, it'll be, it would be on Lifetime, for sure. It would yeah. definitely be on Lifetime. Sorry, that was, we had to take a second. Starring time. Meredith Baxter Bernie. Uh, and, so we're in the big room again. They put us in the big Southern Cross room here at the, uh, at the, at the Transact. Uh, and why? Why are we in the big room again and not the, the small room with the weird ice cream window? Know. Why? Why is that? Too many fans, that's why. Too many fans. That YouTube video where they did a concert in the street and there were so many people they had to go up on the roof. That's what's happening here, clearly. Uh, yeah, clearly, obviously. Not, there was definitely not a scheduled conflict. That's not at all what happened. There's definitely not a trivia no. thing so happening over there. next time when you see us and we're just out on floor, it's not because we didn't book a place. That's it's right. We need all the people. Because, <laughs> because there's eight people that showed up. That's why, son. <laughs> Uh, speaking of big fan base, let's bring on your first guest. Let's just go right to it. I don't oh, want to yeah. do a monologue joke. I don't want to. I just want to go right to the guest because he's doing a really cool thing. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he, is, uh, he is the founder of a fantastic project called 1001 Ways to Wonder, and he's Bryce Sage. He's right over there. Let's go see him. Great to see you. You want a drink? You look like you're casual. Oh, you're just hanging out, which yeah, is very nice. Mm -hmm. How are you, for God's sake? Uh, I'm doing very well, all things considered. That's good. Well, last time I saw you, all things considered. Oh, that you're saying. Well, I'm doing a depression based project, right? That so. is true. That is very that is a very valid point you raise. Uh, yeah, which is why we're here because it's May 1st, so it's, it's Mental Health Week, which is one of the reasons why we got here. Not just because you're fabulous and handsome and have a wonderful project, but uh, there's those no, things. I keep saying these things I need, I soak up the validation. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> uh, so last time I saw you, uh, and I found out which project was on uh, St. Patrick's Day last year. We, yep. did, we, did, we did the parade together. So tell us what 1001 Ways to Wonder actually is. This is pretty wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So uh, 1001 Ways to Wonder is a project all about the science of mental health. Mm -hmm. I, like a lot of folks, have depression all over my family, and I learned that if I just wonder, about what causes my depression, I get less depressed. So that gave me the idea to do this web series all about depression. It's pretty great. So how many ways are you through so far? Uh, <laughs> I've, I've done about 15 of them so far. 15 yeah. ways? And yeah, yeah. We've been to the filming them and stuff. So yeah. we're 980 some. Math. I'm not good at math. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why my math is 984. Yeah, somewhere right? around right there, which is very good. Uh, so, and you have, and not only, I, I mean, I love it, I've watched a bunch of them, and they're really great, and, and, and they're, you're fun, and they're entertaining, and they have a great point, and everything else, and you're working on something equally impressive this time, as well, tell us what your new project coming up. My new project. Your new project, you have, you have your other thing, you have your other video coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, so which so drops so today. Oh, yeah. So it's our next day to wonder, and it's depression in the brain. So I repeat, people will say things like, depression's all in your head, right? But, it really is all in your head, but the, the biology actually shows that it is a real genuine thing and understanding exactly where it's happening in the brain will help you better figure out how you to cure it or how, what what you need to do to actually get rid of it. Yeah, it's pretty fantastic. I highly encourage it's just 101 ways to wonder.com and yeah. fantastic. Watch watch them all. Binge watch the whole damn thing. That's what I recommend. Do that whole thing. There's, there's, all only, there's only a few up there right now, so <laughs> <laughs> see if you can make this happen tonight. You can do this tonight. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna test your brain right now with 10 quick questions. <laughs> We were talking earlier and I said, don't overthink it, and you were like, it's impossible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you have depression, you overthink things. <laughs> well, I have, I have faith in you. I know you can make this, see, air high five yeah. from Molly. That's right. Yeah. I'm saying this is going to happen, but I have faith you can pull this off. Right. Gonna, we're gonna, just don't overthink it. Right, ten quick questions. Yeah, I'm Jedi mind trained here. I'm good to go. There's really no way you can get them wrong unless you get them wrong. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, you decide. So the sound effect for wrong? It's arbitrary. Yeah, yeah, the sound effect for wrong is... Yeah, just exactly. remember what you could cause in me if you made me look <laughs> Sage, would you rather smell like all the time? Well, obviously, sage. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what he smells like. He's a sage, so it makes it more sense. Uh, number two, what's worse to choke on, Wonder Bread or Kraft Singles? Kraft Singles. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. It's, just, it's a bad idea. We don't like. Them. I actually choked on steak once. 
You choked on steak? Yeah, yeah, I got a, and I got the Heimlich from some random person in a bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just some random hero Ooh, walking right, by. Yeah. Yeah. This is for that person. <laughs> I can't believe you came with a choking story. I didn't expect that at all. Prepare it. Uh, in the movie Ice Age, does Dennis Leary play the saber-toothed tiger or the mammoth? Saber-toothed tiger. Whoops. Yeah, they, yeah. They're very happy about that. <laughs> Somebody from the audio board was like, please get this right. Uh, what are you more leery of? Eating a thousand and one grams of curds or whey? Oh, uh, definitely whey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Molly agrees. The uh, cheese curds are amazing. They are pretty good. Yeah, this is a pro cheese curd audience. We can't remove yeah. exactly. yeah, That's true. Uh, what would be weirder to eat? A, uh, what would be weirder to eat on a bed of rice? Ice cream or peanut butter? Oh, peanut butter. Weirder, yeah. yeah. Weirder because it would stick. Oh, Molly, this is apparently, apparently that's in that's my food of choice when I'm eating my peanut. While well, you're still wrong. Uh, okay, it's fine. Uh, $1,001 for a 2008 Toyota Yaris in decent condition. Is that a good deal? Uh, I know a lot of cars, so sure. <laughs> Apparently it is. Uh, air conditioner or hair conditioner? What's a bigger part of your life? A hair conditioner. <laughs> Clearly, you're very well put together. Uh, life or mini meats? What's a better cereal that has better family values? Uh, I would say life. <laughs> I wrote this down so quickly, I don't even know what half these words are. Uh, name an artist from the Family Values Tour. From the Family Values Tour. Anybody that played on the Family Values Tour, there's any, anybody. Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> it's long, but we're going to let it slide because that was obscure. Uh, one of the most, we would have taken corn or Limp Biscuit or anything else that's crappy. Uh, <laughs> and your final question, corn on the cob is fun, but, and good to eat, but what would you, and again, name another food, I'm going to do that again. Uh, corn on the cob is great, but name another food you would also like to eat on a cob. On a cob. Name any food on a cob and you get this right and you win. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. On a cob. The project is 1,001 ways to win a pound. The person is Bryce Sage and he's lovely. Let him hear it. Set. Cut us some slack. We really do. Uh, I'd like to bring up another wonderful. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, you I'm would... totally not embarrassed. <laughs> Does your hoodie have nerve endings? No, like, you look so rattled. My poor hoodie. It's not a. It's not a chinchilla. Like it's just a hoodie. It's, a... <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> I would like to bring up your last and your second guest of the show. Uh, she's wonderful and she's so clever uh, in person, in a stand-up capacity, and also on Twitter. So go follow her at she is clever bro on Twitter and follow her as she gives comedy right now. It's Hono Hersey. <laughs> experiencing some mild chest pain, okay? And I realize it's because I've been having uh, leftover poutine for breakfast the next day. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't do that because cholesterol is real, okay? So I, I had to go back to the gym, right? Because I, I want to get healthy, you know, but mainly because I'm trying to get this bikini body <laughs> <laughs> that no one's ever going to see. So I'm going <laughs> to the gym. <laughs> and I hate working out, but I love the gym that I go to because it's right next to a retirement home, okay? So when I say that my gym is filled with old ladies, I'm talking like 80 plus, okay? Like they were around for one of the world wars, <laughs> right? Like they have black and white photos, and it's not an Instagram filter. <laughs> it's not that kind of thing, okay? Uh, and I love it because I, I, I just walk in there every day super, well, not every day, it's like once a month I go to the gym. <laughs> super confident, right? Because by default, I am the hottest person there. <laughs> I'm Beyonce. And, Sarah, right? and it's because I have all these great qualities that these other ladies don't have, right? Like teeth and a period. <laughs> and I don't use Internet Explorer. So I'm a real so much to the table. Uh, and I remember I used to see my mom at the gym. And I don't know if you guys ever have this reaction whenever you see family members out in public, right? Are you guys ever just like, Ugh, enough already. Like, do I have to interact with you outside of the home? <laughs> I like this joke because the three people that laughed are broken and need therapy. <laughs> and then the people that don't laugh are like, um, but my mom's my best friend. She reads my diary. <laughs> Here's the deal. 
I'm sensing some judgment, so let me explain myself. Um, I love my family, uh, but I don't like them. <laughs> like, I would, I would, like, they say that you don't choose your family, and that's correct, because I would have chose better. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I really, I love my family, but I don't like them. Like, I would, like, gladly, I would gladly give my brother a kidney, uh, but I wouldn't have a conversation with him. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to make